Hi everyone, in this video we'll have a look at another security issue in Android called as authentication based access control issues. So authentication based access control issue arises even an application is doing authentication checks. So after doing authentication check, if an attacker can somehow access the protected resource, so that may result in authentication based access control issue. So this issue is also present in Diva which we will see in this video. So this typical issue in Diva is named as access control issues part 2. So here in this issue our objective is same as the previous one that we have to see the protected resource which actually contains our Twitter API credentials. But here is a little trick. So you can see here that in this issue we can only be able to see that Twitter API credential after entering one pin which means this particular issue actually asks us for entering a pin and if we enter that pin and if that application authenticate us then we can see that Twitter API credentials. But here we will see that how we can abuse this mechanism and how we can bypass this authentication check by abusing authentication based access control issues in Deva. Now let's have a look at another kind of access control issue in Deva. So you can see here that our Janimotion is up and running and here is our application Deva. So let me open it up and you can see here one issue called as access control issue part 2. So let me open it up. So this issue is same like the previous one whereas here in this issue what we have to do in order to view API credentials we have to register at payato.com. So you can see here there are two options the first one is register now and the second one is already registered. So if we click over here register now and if we click over here view Twitter API credential so you can see here then it asks us for registering at payato.com in order to get a pin. So once we get a pin we have to enter over here and then we can able to log in. Whereas in the second scenario, in the second scenario there is an option of already registered. So if I click over here already registered and if I click over here now view Twitter API credential you can see we are able to access the Twitter API credentials. So what actually happening is if we click over here already registered then our application assumes that we already have a pin. It's just a fictional. So what we have to do here is we have to directly invoke this activity or this Twitter API credential outside the app. So you can see here it's same that you are able to access the third party Twitter API credentials after you have registered with the Twitter. The app requests you to register online and the vendors give you a pin. Then what we have to do we have to try to access that Twitter API credential without knowing the pin. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to invoke the same activity of this Twitter API credential by using activity manager then we will see that whether we are able to invoke it or not. So let me close this up. So you can see here that our Sentuku VM operating system is up and running and now let's go here on my desktop let's go inside de let's go inside JEDX bin deva and now let's analyze the android manifest.xml file So you can see here a list of activities and if I scroll down you will find one activity named as access control 2 activity and right below it there is one more activity called as API credential 2 activity and right below it here is our intent filter. So the name of intent filter is jaka.aseem.deva view creds 2. So let's copy this intent filter. And now let's try to invoke this activity by using its intent filter by writing over here adb shell then activity manager start hyphen a and let me paste intent filter over here and you can see your Jenny motion. So if I click on enter you will see that it has started a particular activity and if I open my Jenny motion you can see that it's again asking for entering a pin which means this application or this issue that is access control issue part 2 is actually protected which means we are not be able to view the Twitter API credential without entering a pin means it's a compulsory that we have to enter a pin now in order to bypass this issue let's analyze its source code so let me go inside this package that is jaka.aseem.deva So 
so we have decompiled this application in the previous video that's why I am able to view the source code so you can see here one activity called as access control 2 activity so now let me view its source code okay so if I scroll down you will see one function called as view API credentials and here the thing to be noticed is that there is one variable or a string called as chk pin which means check pin and it's a boolean one that is true or false as we all know that boolean operator might be a true might be a false so here you can see that there is one variable or a string called as check pin and that's a boolean so what actually happening is you can see if else statement over here that is if statement so if the string that we entered or the pin which we enter so if that is not equals to null then what happen is it will display the same activity whereas if this pin is not equal to null or it's a null then what happen is it show us the Twitter API credentials now what we have to do is in order to invoke that particular activity we have to pass one another parameter called as chk pin but the thing to be noticed is that this chk pin is not actual a string so if you are an Android developer you might know about strings.xml file which contains a reference of strings so actual value of this variable is something different so in order to view it let me go here to its github link that is github.com slash pi2 diva slash android so from here you can download the source code of this application that is diva so in order to view strings.xml file let's go inside over here app source main and here is one directory called as res that is resource so let me open it up and values and here you will find one xml file called as strings.xml so you can see here all the strings with its values so you can see here that wherever inside the application this is written d intro which means if in application this keyword is written then it reference or it points to this entire text now let's try to find chk pin so you can see here our chk pin string but the exact value is check pin so that is ch ck pin so what we have to do here is now in order to invoke that particular activity we have to pass this ch ck check pin parameter so first of all let's go inside adb shell and let's see how we can pass parameter in activity manager so I'm just writing here am so you will see here that in order to start any activity we just have to write am start hyphen a but now let's see how we can add parameter so if I scroll down you can see here the first option is hyphen e so by adding a hyphen e we can pass a parameter but that will be a string so if we write here hyphen e z then we can write any parameter and we can give its boolean value similarly if you want to pass any particular parameter that takes integer value then you have to use hyphen ei whereas hyphen el used for extra long value but for the time being we are interested in this parameter that is hyphen hyphen ez in which the hyphen ez actually supports boolean value so now what i'm going to do here is so let me first of all close this div application so let's just write here and let me go back close this Jenny motion shell now you can see that right now we are inside the send to QM operating system shell so let's just write here adb shell am start hyphen a followed by the intent filter that was so let me copy that one more time So let's scroll down 
and let's copy this intent filter and let's paste it over here now in order to pass a boolean based parameter just write here hyphen hyphen easy then in double quotes we have to write down the parameter name or the variable name which was chck check underscore pin and here what we can do we can just pass either true or a false even we can pass either zero value either a one value so just for example if I just pass here false hit enter so you can see here that it has started a particular intent and now let's see what happened so you can see here that we are able to view that Twitter API credentials without registering or without entering a particular pin this is why because we have passed one parameter called as check pin and we have given a false value that was a boolean value so this is how we can pass any particular parameter in that particular intent in order to bypass that access control issues so this is how we can bypass access control issues by passing different parameters which requires boolean integers or any long random values so in this video we talk about access control issue and we saw that how we can bypass access control issues part 2 in Deva. So thanks for watching this video.